let's walk through some key NCLEX points for diabetic ketoacidosis. So what's happening here is there's not enough insulin in the body for uh, glucose to be used by the cells for energy. So they use fat instead. And the problem with this is that fat produces ketones and ketones are acids. So the acid is going to rise in the body. Now, some key, key NCLEX points to know here is to monitor for mental status changes because of increased intracranial pressure. As that blood glucose level decreases, Reese's fluid can shift and cause that fluid to shift into the uh, cerebral spinal fluid and the brain, which can cause cerebral edema. So watch for those mental status changes for increased intracranial pressure. The NCLEX also loves to touch you on your nursing interventions for this. So you're going to give IV fluids as prescribed, normal saline or lactated ringers, and then 0.45% normal saline, 5% dextrose, and half normal